Welcome everyone to another episode of Dino Times. I'm your guys' host, Dakota Morgan, coming to you from Phoenix, Arizona. And today we have ourselves a new dinosaur I'm going to be discussing here, the Dorn Raptor. Possibly a reference to Game of Thrones? We shall see. But the Dorn Raptor is a new theropod on the scene. Its name does mean Dorset, Robber, or Thief, because of the raptor part being in there. Comes from the early Jurassic and is a Aviostrand theropod. And the early Jurassic period that it is from, well, the area it's from, is in the, what is now known as England. The species name is D. Normani. And we've actually had this dinosaur since the 1800s Bone Wars. And one day I'll make a giant video covering that. But it was found in 1858 by Richard Owen. And what we know from the specimen is fragmentary leg bones and a right knee joint partial left femur. Now it was recently discovered as a new species, well recently classified as a new species I would say, by the Matthew G. Barron who's classifying the right knee joint as actually a hollow type due to a little bit of differences from other species of maybe similar uh, raptors and other theropods so kind of showing it as a new different type of species. It is estimated to be about five meters in length but of course so with as little as we have it's really hard to tell but either way it's something you don't want to run into out in the wild for a carnivore and that's what we know about dorn raptor right now so because of the england mate part but no one actually did say if it's a reference to game of thrones but that'd be really really cool if it was i mean we have a dinosaur named after ghostbuster villain so here we are thank you ladies and gentlemen for joining me on this episode of dino times and if you did enjoy it leave a like subscribe for more paleo content here on the channel video game stuff as well as much much more and of course new episodes of Final times where I cover the news and of course species profiles and much more. Thanks everybody as always and remember science is real.